everyone. We are in Anyang today to Anyang Yeso Kongwan Anyang Art Park. Why am I so tongue tied? I came here once in autumn. It was spectacular. Um, but I made a video about it, but it was like years ago. Really short, kind of weird. Wasn't super proud of it. So I'm taking you there again. And it's going to be quite hot today. So I came early. But it's basically just this giant park with huge art installations hidden in the forest and then there are lots of like little cafes so i can get a cool drink and yeah it's only like two hours outside of seoul so if you just want a nice little day trip this is lovely so anyway let's uh let's go So normally, the last time I came here, I just went right across this bridge behind me, which is directly across the street from the Anyang Pavilion. And that's where you can kind of start climbing the hill and you'll see a lot of the art installations really close together. But because it's only gonna get hotter, I'm gonna go to the further ones that are a little bit separate first. It actually was so hot yesterday that the government, like, sent out a notification saying like you can take your mask off if you're 15 feet from other people because we don't want you to pass out basically today is a little bit cooler but not that much um but like i said it's early so we're doing okay so i'm gonna focus on finding the other things okay bye <laughs> I don't know why I'm not like capturing them all on camera. <laughs> oh my god, but there are just butterflies absolutely everywhere. Maybe they're moths. I don't. Uh, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I don't really know the difference. They're pretty. Oh my god, should I even continue? Y'all, this is. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't do it, I can't do it. There's so many. <laughs> I think. I think there's like a nest or something deep in this tunnel because they're just so many moths going that way so i'm gonna come back out the way that i came because it's like thousands and they're like landing on you and that's just not not my thing but you get the gist <sighs> you get the gist oh my god let me get out of here <laughs> So you could have followed this all the way out and into this <laughs> if I wasn't so scared, but beautiful. So it seems like I'm literally the only person bothered by moths. There are so many people having little picnics and moths are like sitting on them. <laughs> and I'm just like, no, 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 no. So anyway, those were the kind of far away ones. There's a big area for picnicking and just sitting in, under the trees. It's very cool. But now we're gonna go into the like main forest area where there are just like a bunch really close together. So let's go see those. Uh, 
I am straight up soaking wet. It is so humid, but it smells so strongly of just greenery. It feels very summery, so we're just gonna continue walking up. We've already seen one, two, three, four um, installations, but the bigger ones are coming up in a second. <sighs> interesting it's locked usually you can go in because it's just like a really cool that's a big spider okay it's a really cool um, I don't know little sitting area but um guess we can't go in this time but as you can see it's still pretty cool yay bye spider our next challenge so this thing it's just a giant ramp and when I came here, oh, I'm really sweaty. Um, when I came here in autumn, it was a blustery, beautiful day. <laughs> and the higher up I got, the more you could feel a distinct swaying with the breeze. So if you're scared of heights, I still suggest you come up, but uh, just mentally prepare yourself that it might be a little shaky, <laughs> but off we go. <laughs> So all the ones that we've seen so far are the ones that I have already seen. Um, but there are more out there that I haven't discovered yet. There are like two more. Um, so we're going to try and find them. Hopefully we don't get lost in the woods. I'm bringing you along with me regardless. Let's go. What? Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? It's a shark with legs. I think. Okay. Just so long as I'm not the only one. <laughs> okay, there's absolutely no reason for it to be doing so, but this weird little house suddenly gave me like midsummer vibes. <laughs> so I'm a little bit freaked out. Hopefully, nobody's in there dressed like a bear. But um, in we go. Also, while I'm completely alone in the woods, um, the last time I did a video where I went on that little hike at Ansan and I was saying how I was kind of scared because I was so alone, um, there were a couple comments asking like, are you scared of being alone as a woman in Korea? And I just want to clarify that I am literally like such a child that I'm still very scared of like ghosts or I don't even know what unknown forest spirits so that's really what I'm scared of I'm scared of like being taken into another world or like another dimension I found the dragon tail by the way um but no I'm never I'm never afraid of like other people definitely in like where I'm from in California or when I lived in New York I was definitely like afraid to walk alone because of like real life dangers when I was in high school we had a lot of cases where girls went missing so in America yes that is a fear but in Korea I've never felt worried I literally am only scared of the supernatural here editing Carrie here I just want to clarify that like I have been followed home I have been filmed without my permission but 
in my six years of living here versus like my entire life in America, like it doesn't even begin to compare. Like walking down the street, I don't, I don't get catcalled. Like when I was in America, the fact that I was a woman by herself was always on my mind versus in Korea, there are only very certain instances where I think about it, when it like comes to my mind. So it's kind of, that's the difference. That's what I mean by I'm never scared. I didn't say that correctly, so. That's kind of why I love living here is that like as a young woman who likes to do things by herself, it's a very safe place. You should all obviously still be safe and still be aware of your surroundings and there are still bad things that can happen, but just not at the rate that it does at least where I'm from and in my experience whoa, there's only moths to be scared of so just wanted to clarify that I am only scared of of forest monsters not other human actual dangers so dragon found there's that <laughs> gonna get a little food gonna get a little cold drink and then we might as well head back home because it's only gonna get hotter it's just noon right now and I got here around 10 15 so yeah I'm hungry <laughs> Unexpected. I just walked into what looked to be, I don't know, like the friendliest place. That was the best konguksu I've ever had in my entire life. Normally I can't finish konguksu ever because even though I really like it, it fills me up. But those noodles were just so good. And I want to go back when it's a little cooler because they specialize in like sundubu and they have like a dubu, uh, also at bibimbap so like a hot bibimbap which it's not the time for hot bibimbap even though everybody else in there was eating it what an interesting surprise and now i'm gonna go get a little coffee continue to cool off and uh yeah wow successful day i'm so happy <laughs> So I went a little overboard and now I have the goosebumps. <laughs> I'm now way too cold. So I'm actually gonna start heading back home. I might grab like a little snack. Why do I need a snack? I'm so full. I just feel like the CU is like pulling me in and I really want a, a snack. It looks like it might rain actually. So it's supposed to rain all week. The rainy season is here. So yeah, I'm gonna get home before any of that happens. Check back in one more time once I get home. I feel like I'm in such a daze. Oh my God, where even is the bus stop? Okay, see you. <laughs> Okay, so we're back home. That was Anyang Yesul Kongwon or Anyang Art Park. And it is in the city of Anyang. It's so easy to get to. Um, you can take the subway most of the way there and then take a bus, but for me, I prefer to do, um, I like the bus first of all, and I prefer to do as few transfers as possible. So um, there happened to be a way that I only had to transfer once on the bus from my house, which was great. Um, it's open 24 hours. You don't have to pay. It's just public trail place. If you maybe go with a friend or something, bring a picnic mat. There were so many kids with like little nets because um, all the stores sell them as well um, to go like catch frogs and also butterflies, which there were a lot of. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's really, really cool. Um, I, I personally liked it a little bit more in autumn just because it was easier to walk around. I went on a very humid day, but for people who really love just like lazy summer afternoons by the river 
um it's, it's kind of paradise but yeah i had a i had a lovely day it was hot and uh like i said kind of a bummer i i have like a couple other similar videos like really cool close just outside of seoul really pretty nature spots um but as i already said it's gonna start raining in like couple hours and then it's not gonna stop for as far as i can scroll through the weather app but we're gonna deal with that when it comes thank you as always for joining me i hope you're all surviving your summer my southern hemisphere folks hope you're enjoying your winter see you guys later thank you as always bye